Good morning, students. Welcome back to Max Online Class. In the previous class, I have given some homework problem. Have you all completed? Okay. I hope you all have completed your homework. In the previous class, what did you learn? Yeah, distance between any two points, is it? Today also, I am going to continue the distance between any two points. Now, I am going to teach exercise 5.2, sixth problem, first one. Verify that the following points taken in order from the vertices of a rhombus. Okay. We have to verify that the following points taken in order as the taken in order form the vertices of a rhombus. Already you know that in a rhombus what is the condition for rhombus? All the sides are equal. Okay. A, B, C, D like that. Four sides given. What's the condition for rhombus? All the sides are equal. Is it? We have to prove that all the sides are equal. Like that. Okay. Already what's the formula for distance? Distance D is equal to. I remember that distance D is equal to. Root of x2 minus x1 D. Whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square. Okay. Distance d is equal to root of x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square. It is the distance formula. Now, distance d is equal to root of x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square. Now, we want to find out the side a, b. B, C, C, D, A, D. If all the sides are equal, we know that the, the given points are rhombus like that. First, to find A, B. To find A, B. To find A, B. Here, what is X2, X1? X1 is equal to 3. Y1 is equal to minus 2. What's the point of X2 and Y2? X2 is equal to 7. Y2 is equal to 6. Then AB is equal to root of. X2 minus X1 the whole square means X2 minus X1 the whole square is equal to 7 minus 3 the whole square. Plus y2 minus y1 the whole square means 6 minus minus 2 the whole square. It's equal to root of 7 minus 3 means 4 square plus 6 minus of minus plus is it? 6 plus okay minus of minus plus 6 plus 2 the whole square. It's equal to 4 square plus 8 square. It's equal to 4 square is equal to 4 4 are 16. 8 8s are 64. It's equal to root of 0. Yes, 80. Root 80. AB is equal to root 80. Then to find BC. To find BC. Here, what is x1, y1? x1 is equal to 7. y1 is equal to 6. x2 is equal to minus 1. y2 is equal to 2. y1 is equal to 6. x2 is equal to minus 1. y2 is equal to 2. Next step. It is equal to, then BC is equal to root of x2 minus x1 the whole square minus 1 minus 7 the whole square plus 
y2 minus y1 the whole square. 2 minus 6 the whole square. C equal to minus 1 minus 7. Both also minus means. Add and put the minus symbol. So minus 1 minus 7. Minus 8 the whole square plus 2 minus 6. 2 minus 6 means minus 4. Okay, subtract. 6 minus 2 is 4. Greater number symbol is minus. So minus 4 the whole square. So equal to minus 8 the whole square means minus 8 the whole square plus 64. 64 minus 4 the whole square minus the whole square means plus 4 for 16. Okay, 64 plus 16. It's equal to root 80. So, we have find out which one? BC. Next, we want to find out CD. Is it? Then we want to find out CD. To find CD. To find CD. What is X1? X1 is equal to minus 1. Y1 is equal to 2. X2 is equal to D point. What is the D point? Uh, minus 5. Y2 is equal to minus 6. Okay. X1 is equal to minus 1. Y1 is equal to 2. X2 is equal to minus 5. Y2 is equal to minus 6. Then CD is equal to X2 minus X on the whole square. Minus 5. Minus of minus 1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square. Minus 6 minus 2 the whole square. It's equal to minus 5 minus of minus plus 1 the whole square plus minus 6 minus 2 the whole square. Minus 8 the whole square. It's equal to minus 5 plus 1. Yeah, minus 4 the whole square plus minus 8 the whole square. Minus 4 the whole square. Minus 4 the whole square. Yeah, 16 plus 16, not minus 16, plus 16. Minus 8 the whole square, minus the whole square plus 8 8 are 64. It's equal to root 80. CD is equal to root 80. Then to find AD. What is X1, Y1? To find AD. What is X1, Y1? X1 is equal to A point. What is A point? A point 3 comma minus 2. A, X1 is equal to 3. Y1 is equal to minus 2. Then X2 is equal to D point is X2, Y2. D point is X2, Y2. What is D point? Minus 5 comma minus 6. So, X2 is equal to minus 5. Y2 is equal to minus 6. AD is equal to root of X2 minus X1 the whole square. Minus 5 minus 3 the whole square. Plus Y2 minus Y1 the whole square. Minus 6. Minus of minus 2. The whole square. Minus 5 minus 3 the whole square. Minus 8 the whole square plus. Minus 6 minus of minus plus 2 the whole square. So minus 8 the whole square plus. Minus 4 the whole square. It's equal to 64 plus 16. It's equal to root 80. AD is equal to root 80. Okay. Here all the sides are equal. So therefore AB is equal to. BC is equal to. CD is equal to. AD is equal to root 80. Every sides are. All sides are equal. Therefore the given points are taken in order as a. Parallel and which one? Rhombus. Therefore, A, B, C, D is a rhombus. Have you understood this? Okay. If you want to prove that the given points are rhombus means what we have to do? 
All these sides are equal like that we have to prove. Already um, parallelogram already we have proved. What did we prove that? Yeah, opposite sides are equal means that is a parallelogram. If all these sides are equal means that is a rhombus. Okay, clear? Any doubt? Okay. Now I am going to explain example 5.8. Calculate the distance between the points A7, 3 and B which lies on the x-axis. Which lies on the x-axis whose abscissa is 11. Abscissa is 11. Okay. Calculate the distance between the points A7, 3, B and B which lies on the x-axis whose abscissa is 11. What is given? A point is given. Next, here, then B is on the x axis. Since B is on the x axis, it is given. B which lies on the x axis. Since B is on the x axis, If the point is on the x-axis means y coordinate is 0. Any point is on the x-axis, y coordinate is 0. Therefore, the y coordinate of B is 0. Of B is 0. Y coordinate of B is 0. Clear? Okay, B is on the x-axis. Y coordinate of B is, therefore the Y coordinate of B is 0. Next, at course, abscissa is 11. Okay, abscissa is 11 like that given. Therefore, the coordinate of B, the point B is Point B is what is the coordinate of point B? Can you say that here Y coordinate is 0, abscissa 11. What is abscissa? What is the meaning of abscissa? Abscissa means X axis. X axis 11, Y axis is 0. Okay, X axis 11. Y axis is 0. So 11, 0. Therefore, the coordinate of the point B is 11, 0. Next. Now we know that A, 7, 3, B, 11, 0. Next. Distance D is equal to formula. D is equal to root of x2 minus x1 d whole square plus y2 minus y1 d whole square. Okay. Here what is to find AB? We have to find out AB. AB is equal to what is x1? Can you say x1? x1 is 7. y1 is 3. x1 is equal to 7. y1 is equal to 3. Next what is the point B? 11, 0. So, X2 is equal to 11. Y2 is equal to 0. So, AB is equal to root of 11 minus 7 the whole square plus 0 minus 3 the whole square. It's equal to 11 minus 7. 4 square plus minus 3 the whole square. It's equal to 4 square is 16. Minus 3 the whole square is 9. It's equal to root 25. It's equal to 5. Okay. Root 25 is equal to 5. Root AB is equal to 5. So, okay. Clear. Calculate the distance between the point A, B which lies on the x-axis. If it is lies on the x-axis, y coordinate is 0. Next, abscissa is 11 like that given. Therefore, the abscissa means x-axis is 11. Abscissa, 
एक्स एक्सिस ऑर्डिनेट में वाई एक्सिस ओके सो द पॉइंट बी इज लेवन कमा जीरो देन डिस्टेंस डी इज इक्वल टू रूट ऑफ एक्स टू माइनस एक्स ऑन द होल स्क्वायर प्लस वाई टू माइनस वाई ऑन द होल स्क्वायर इफ यू आर डूइंग दैट ए बी आंसर व्हाट इज दैट ए बी इज इक्वल टू फाइव लाइक दैट वी आर गेटिंग दैट नाउ I am going to explain example five point nine. Okay, example five point nine. Find the value of y such that P Q is equal to Q R, where P Q at all are the points whose coordinates are six comma minus one, one comma three, and eight comma y comma eight. Listen here. What is given? Given p six comma minus one. It is p. Okay, p six comma minus one. Q one comma three. R y comma eight. Also given that p q is equal to q r. Shall we find out p q and q r? P Q is equal to to find P Q. X one is equal to six. Y one is equal to minus one. X two is equal to one. Y two is equal to three. Then P Q is equal to root of X two minus X one the whole square. That means one minus six the whole square. Next y two minus y one the whole square means three minus of minus one the whole square. It's equal to six minus one the whole square minus five the whole square plus three minus of minus three plus one the whole square. It's equal to minus five the whole square plus Three plus one, four. Three plus one is four square. It's equal to minus five. The whole square is twenty-five plus four square is sixteen. Four four is sixteen. It's equal to twenty-five plus twenty-five plus sixteen. What's the value of twenty-five plus sixteen? Forty one root forty one. Clear? Next. Similarly, we want to find out Q R also. Okay. To find Q R, X one is equal to one. Y one is equal to three. X two is equal to y. Y two is equal to eight. Then next day, Q R is equal to root of x two minus x on the whole square. A minus one the whole square plus next day, Y two minus Y one the whole square. Eight minus three the whole square. Eight minus three the whole square. It's equal to root of a minus one the whole square. We can write the same a minus one the whole square. Eight minus three the whole square. What can what can be write it? Five square. Okay. It's equal to we can write a minus one the whole square plus twenty five. Clear. Five square is five five sir twenty five. Clear. Next, what is given? P Q is equal to Q R. We we can equate this two. Okay, P Q is equal to Q R. So we can equate P Q and Q R. Clear. Next, given. P Q is equal to Q R. P Q value is root forty one is equal to 
नेक्स्ट व्हाट इज क्यू आर व्हाट इज क्यू आर ए माइनस रूट ऑफ ए माइनस वन द होल स्क्वायर प्लस ट्वेंटी फाइव If you are squaring, okay, squaring on both sides, squaring on both sides, what we are getting? Squaring on both sides, forty-one is equal to a minus one the whole square plus twenty-five. When we are squaring, the square root will be cancel, okay? Squaring root forty-one the whole square means forty-one. Root of a minus one the whole square plus twenty five the whole square means a minus one the whole square plus twenty five. Clear this? Clear? Any doubt? Next, uh, um, when we are interchanging left hand side and right hand side, a minus one the whole square plus twenty five is equal to forty one. A minus one the whole square plus twenty five is equal to forty one. Next. A minus one the whole square is equal to forty one minus twenty five. When we are taking this side, minus twenty five will be get. So A minus one the whole square is equal to what is forty one minus twenty five? Forty one minus twenty five sixteen. Okay, forty one minus twenty five means which one? Sixteen. Okay. A minus one the whole square is equal to sixteen. Next, A minus one is equal to plus or minus root sixteen. Okay, square. Okay, A minus one the whole square is equal to sixteen. A minus one is equal to plus or minus root sixteen. What is plus or minus root sixteen? Root sixteen is equal to four. So a minus one is equal to four. A minus one is equal to plus or minus four. Clear? A minus one is equal to plus or minus four. Next, then a is equal to. If you are taking minus one, that is what will be get plus one. One plus or minus four. A is equal to. One plus or minus four. Clear? If minus one when we are taking here, plus one like that will be get one plus or minus four like that we are getting that. A is equal to one plus four or A is equal to one minus four. Okay, plus four and minus four like that we can take it. Okay. So a is equal to one plus four, or a is equal to one minus four, like that. We can take it. Equal to five. Here a is equal to five, or a is equal to minus three. Okay. What's the value of a? A is equal to five, or a is equal to minus three. Clear? Any doubt? Any doubt in this question? No doubt, no. Okay. Then example five point ten. A two comma two B eight comma minus four B two points in a plane. If a point P lies on the x-axis, P lies on the x-axis in positive side, and divide AB in the ratio one is to two, then find the coordinates of P. What is given? What is given? A two comma two and B eight comma minus four. Okay. A two comma two B eight comma minus four. Next, P. If a point P lies on the x-axis, okay. P lies on the X axis. So we can take let P is equal to x comma zero. Any point on the x axis, y coordinate is zero. So we can take let P is equal to x comma zero. Let P is equal to x comma zero. Then we want to find out AP. 
Next day, it to divide the point P is dividing AV in the ratio 1 is to 2. 1 is to 2. The point P, okay, P is in between A and B. Okay, A, B, 2 points. P is in between A and B. It divide it is in the ratio 1 is to 2. Clear? 1 is to 2 ratio, it is dividing that. So, first we want to find out AP and BP. What we have to find out? AP and BP. To find AP, X1 is equal to 2, Y1 is equal to 2. X2 is equal to X, Y2 is equal to 0. Next, AP is equal to root of x2 minus x1 the whole square. Formula, a distance d is equal to root of x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square. Next, x minus 2 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square means 0 minus 2 the whole square. Okay. It is AP. Okay. AP is equal to X minus 2 the whole square plus 0 minus 2 the whole square. Here we can use the formula A minus B the whole square. A minus B the whole square is equal to A square minus 2AB plus B square. So X square minus 2 into X into 2 into AB 2 into X into 2 plus 2 square plus minus 2 the whole square is equal to root of x square minus 4x plus 4 plus 4 it's equal to root of x square minus 4x plus 8 root of x square minus 4x plus 8 similarly we have to find out bp also to find BP. What is X1? B point is X1, Y1. Next, which one? X2, Y2. This one. X comma 0. X1 is equal to 8. Y1 is equal to minus 4. X2 is equal to which one? X. Y2 is equal to 0. Then BP is equal to root of x2 minus x1 the whole square means x minus 8 the whole square plus 0 minus of minus 4 the whole square. Minus of minus 4 the whole square. Then what is x minus 8 the whole square? Here also we have to use which formula? A minus B the whole square formula. So x square minus 2 into x into 8 okay x into 2 into 2 into x into 8 plus b square 8 square next what's that 0 minus of minus 4 0 plus 4 the whole square is equal to root of x square minus 16 x plus 64 plus uh, 0 plus 4 the whole square means 4 square. 4 square is equal to 16. It's equal to x square minus 16 x. 64 plus 16 is 80. It's equal to x square minus 16 x plus 80. Then what is given? It divides in the ratio. P divides AB in the ratio. 1 is to 2. So, AP is 2, BP is equal to 1 is to 2. So, we can take AP by BP is equal to 1 by 2. When we are cross multiplying, what will we get? 2AP is equal to BP. 2AP is equal to BP. Squaring on both sides. When we are squaring on both sides, what we are getting? Squaring on both sides. 4ap square is equal to bp square. 
4ap square is equal to bp square. Next, 4 into ap square. What is the value of ap? ap value is root of x square minus 4x plus 8. H, the whole square is equal to what is BP square? BP. BP value is root of X square minus 16X plus 18. The whole square. It's equal to 4 into square and square root will be cancelled. Here also square and square root will be cancelled. X square minus 4X plus 8 is equal to x square minus 16x plus 80. So, 4 multiply inside. 4x square minus 4 4 are 16. Here 4 we have to multiply everywhere. So, 4 4 are 16. X, 4, next 8 4 are 32. Next take this, this side. This value is also we can take it. In the left hand side means minus x square plus 16x minus 80 is equal to 0. So, 4x square minus x square, 3x square minus 16x plus 16x will be cancelled. <coughs> 32 minus 80. What is 32 minus 80 is minus 48 is equal to 0. So, 3x square is equal to 48. Next, what is x square? x square is equal to 48 by 3. 1, 3 is 3. 6, 3 is 1 balance. 6, 3 is 18. x square is equal to 16. x square is equal to 16. x square is equal to 16. Therefore, x is equal to plus or minus root 16. Plus or minus root 16 is x is equal to plus or minus 4. But x is on the positive side. P lies on the positive side like that given. P lies on the positive side. Positive side. Therefore, P is 4, 0. Therefore, P is 4, 0. Max homework exercise. 5.2 sixth one first problem second sorry second problem first problem already we have completed very easy problem prove that it is a rhombus next is seventh problem seventh problem same like that example which one 5.9 seventh problem is same like that example 5.9 next tenth problem tenth problem same like that Example 5.10. Now we have completed no? 